Because I think you would just, you know, <laughs> stay there. You wouldn't have to reach it. I'm going to be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. I'm the one who's running out. <laughs> running out right behind Dan or in the front of him. Is this on? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your what's your plan in the event of a swarm, Ben? <laughs> My plan is I'm just gonna be chill. He's I'm gonna hang there. out. Oh, Deepak, what's your plan in the event of a swarm? I'll be screaming and running. I don't have to be faster than the bees. I just have to be faster than the slowest one of bees. I'll be, the, I'll be the first one to make it to the garage and hit the lights and I'm shut out. the door. <laughs> Yeah, this well, is, uh, I probably should have included this. This is one of the major parts of beekeeping. Yeah. Um, part of the ways the bees communicate, including communicating alarm or defensive, you know, they signal each other that the hive's under attack or whatever, and to become defensive, well, part of how we interrupt that cycle is we put smoke in the air. Yeah. It does two things. Smoke instinctively tells the or tells the bees to instinctively fill their honey stomach so they'll immediately turn around and i mean they get the munchies they just oh. fill their honey oh. stomach they got a special organ that's kind of like smoking pot because it's exactly <laughs> like that. and especially because then you if you decided that you were going to do that because you were going to pack up your stuff and move then it would be exactly like that <laughs> because that's what they think they think a fire's coming our hive's gonna, we're gonna lose the hive, we need to relocate. So they take all the food they can and they get ready to leave, but they don't leave. The other 